there's a lot of light language practitioners. There's a lot of big spiritual teachers. There's a lot out there, right? All over Instagram and YouTube. And you could find yourself surfing and looking and listening to so much material, even reading people's posts, right? There's energy, there's vibration. And some things will not be in alignment. And, and if you don't discern, you can get hooked. Have you ever felt like more off and more angry or enraged or more judgmental of your body or yourself or just feeling icky after being on social media or reading certain things or listening to people? It's so important to discern because I will tell you, and I've been through this journey, so I know, and it's from experience. As a channel, you are open to everything, okay? And that might not always be in alignment for your highest good. So you might see all these people out here teaching, but are they for the highest good of all? Or are they about making money? Or are they about ego and manipulating people? And some of them aren't even conscious that they're doing it because they really believe that they're channeling source, that they're channeling a higher power, but they're not. And I just think that it's so important to bring that to your awareness that what you are tuning into, check on how it feels in your heart. Like, right? Like we don't understand um, everything that light language brings, but you can feel if it makes you feel better or that you're growing from it. But if you, have you ever put somebody on and you're like, oh shit, like, no, <laughs> like, like I can't, like, I can't handle that. Or, or just something in the tone or their body language, you, you know, and you have to discern and trust right now. Because <clears throat> I'm telling you, I don't want to, I don't like to feed it and I don't really talk about it a lot, but now it's time to talk about it with the group. There is dark, there are dark energies right out there. And unfortunately they, a lot of new earth, new age teachers, they're not realizing that they're channeling people that are putting them in even more programs. So I just really want you guys to focus on holy light, the holy essence work with that pure light and set the intention that I only work with the purest frequencies. I only align with the highest vibrations of truth and organic light and love. And that is my intention to serve the highest good. Make sure your intention is everything. Okay? You state that intention and that's what you will work with and that's what you will bring in. And you won't have to fear anything, but it's important that you're setting an intention of what energies you're working with and say that as a prayer, God, source, higher power, only bring me to channels that are going to help me grow. Only bring me to a soul family that is good for me. Only attract people that are going to build my energy and confidence. And we're going to grow together. Not people that are going to siphon from me that are going to feed off of my energy. So it's just at this time with so much going on in our world and you're going to see more and more people stepping in to their gifts and spiritual teachings as abundance, as a form of abundance. But some people are really, I hate to say this, they're not, they're not ready because they're not in alignment and they're literally, um, some of them just channel earthbound spirits. So I just, I just feel like this needed to come up for so many of you, because I know that there is a lot of information out there and I myself have been distancing a lot from social media. I also think it's important to know that we are a lot of us getting attacked in the astral realm at night and waking up feeling funky after sleeping. Sometimes we feel the energy is off. We're like, why am I so frustrated and irritated? Like what's happening? Like, this is why the diligence, the diligence of your energy field, your self-care practices, you being aware, you know, um, <clears throat> everything is energy and everything, all the material is like what we're digesting. It's not just food. It's like what you're watching, what you're reading. Um, so you really have to discern because every single one of you who's on here were highly sensitive, sensitive souls, you know? And um, I just, 